In this video, I'm going to show you in a click of a button how we can take a script and make a high quality advertisement or viral piece of content. So I'm just going to hit submit here. And my N8N automation is creating a detailed character, a detailed location, cutting it up into scripts, and it's going to be sending me it all on Telegram. So in just a couple of seconds, I was able to queue up my five generations, and then the sixth one I just had to wait for. But once this is done, I'll show you the result. Hey, I'm James Rollins, founder of Rollins Injury Law. I started this firm after my brother was hit by a drunk driver, and watching him fight and the insurance companies changed everything for me. Now, we fight back. If you've been injured in a car accident, we make sure the other side pays, not you. Call Rollins Injury Law or visit rollinswins.com. No fees unless we win. I'm James Rollins. Let's win this together. So I think people are going to get so much more value out of this than they did the full automation. And the main reason is when you use the API to generate the video, it's going to cost you $6 per clip. So you multiply that by six and you get a total cost of $36 for that piece of content. However, if you go into the flow editor like I did and you use VO3 fast, it will only cost you 20 cents per clip. We had six clips, so it only cost us $1. So that's over 30X the savings. And if we wanted, we could have done the higher quality version for $1 per render, which still would have been 600% cheaper. So now to explain a little bit how this works, I'm gonna go into the prompts that it generated. For the input, all I said for the character was 45 male in a suit. Now VO3 is generating this in multiple different instances, so we want the character to be the same. So when we go over to the N8N automation, you can see it creates a character, and basically what it does is it extrapolates the few words that we gave it, and it creates a highly in-depth person. So it says, a 45-year-old Caucasian man stands confidently in his short brown hair. And you can see, it just explains everything. So every time we render him, he looks almost the same. If we were to just say 45-year-old man, then in one clip, he might be black, and then the other clip, he would be white. And that just totally would throw off the continuity of the shoot. And then we have him say the words that he needs to say in the same format that I've been using for a while on VO3, if you've watched my channel before. And then at the very end, it says the location is a wild, bustling street in New York City. So every shot is going to be a little bit different in advertisements and whatnot. There already are jump cuts and stuff like that. So it's not too obvious, but we can't get him in the exact same scenario every time. Uh, but it is pretty obvious that he's in the New York streets and this uh, description on the bottom is what this uh, crate location does. Basically the same thing with the character, it creates a more in-depth description. So the description we gave it was literally just on the streets of New York and we wanted it a little more dialed in so it looked like he was in roughly the same place every time. And I don't know about you or anyone that hasn't done a video shoot before, but something like this when it comes to setting up the cameras, the lightings, you know, going to the actual city, flying people out there. If you were to make a video like this, it would easily cost you tens of thousands of dollars and even doing it in a scrappy manner would probably cost you a couple thousand. And these ads are definitely not perfect, but I will tell you they are high enough quality to run on Google and Facebook ads. I have already seen conversions with campaigns with people I'm working on using this exact strategy, creating ads for them, and we are getting leads and conversions. So I'm super happy with this. As always, this entire template will be completely free. Uh, part of what I'm trying to do here is create a more a comprehensive ad creation machine. However, this is just the first step. One thing I was just trying, and I wanted really something more practical. My other video blew up on the automations, but $6 for an eight second render was just killing me inside. And I wanted to create something that I think could provide a lot more value to marketers or content creators. Uh, so this will be completely free on N8N. If you haven't seen it before, I'm gonna link some of my other tutorials so you can get um, more acquainted with the technology, but you can essentially make an account, import from file, go to my file in the description, you will have this entire thing. All you have to do is switch the credentials to yours and you can start pumping out these scripts for yourself and putting them into VO3. 
So everything in this is completely free and all the videos I do are free. So if you want to support, go to my Telegram group. I'll have that linked in the description and also my newsletter. I have an email newsletter that's going to be absolutely epic for anyone that wants to take advantage of AI tools in marketing or content creation. And moving on, I'm just going to do a basic description of how all this works. The first thing is these two Telegram nodes. Telegram is just a messenger. And if you want to set that up, I'm going to link in the description a video where I go more into depth. All you're going to have to do is change the chat ID to your chat ID. And in that other video, it will show you how to get it. And if you're still stuck, I would just ask ChatGPT because ChatGPT can explain stuff really well. Um, but here we have Telegram account. So this credential, most likely for you, the import will not be here. And we're just going to open this. All you're going to need to do is put your access token in there and you should be good to go. I think the base URL will show um, like that anyways. And then once you have that set up, you're just going to update it on this module right here. And then what you're going to want to do is go to this module and you're going to need to connect your OpenAI account. So you'll need your OpenAI, OpenAI API key. You'll need to create an OpenAI account. If you probably already do have this, if you use ChatGPT, you might have to go through some verifications to get the API to work. Um, but this will cost a couple cents to run. Uh, you can change the model. I just did 4.1. If you want to make it cheaper, you can use a different one. Uh, it's not the most, most robust model because it's uh, relying on a lot of LLM uh, outputs, but you can see uh, once you update all three of these and the two telegrams, you should be good to go and everything will work and when you run it it will send uh, the prompts to your telegram so i'm going to go really quickly through this this is just an on form submission so in the beginning as you saw i put in um, the environment i just said on the streets of new york this is a script i mean you would put your script or what you want to have happen i just generated this generic script using chat gpt and then spokesman uh, or spokesperson, you basically just give it extremely simple details of what you want. So you can say like 20 year old female, 45 year old male, describe the clothes a little bit. And then that's good to go. And then this just sends a, um, a little line break so you can determine which version of the scripts you're on. Uh, Cause this sent six, so I could easily go to the first one cause I just go to the line break on Telegram. And then we have the create character, um, which is pretty simple. We're just passing it in the character description that you give on the form. And then we're just saying, given this description, you know, write a longer version of a person with age, race, hair color, what they're wearing, stuff like that. So it comes out with this. And then we just tack this on to every prompt and then generate the location. It's very similar. We're just giving it the location with this description so it's creating this for every single prompt so that it looks pretty similar and then create scripts this is the one that sometimes can crash because the output is a little bit annoying but it basically just say you're a assistant working on breaking down into a script into parts that could be read in 10 seconds so the idea is google vo3 can only be done in eight second increments so this gives you a segmentation of all the generations you need to create an ad like that. Keep in mind, not everything is going to be perfect. I had to regenerate one of them uh, when I did this because it didn't have sound. Um, but everything like this should be built in. And then this code right here, all it does is it takes by line break and then separates it into six separate items or however many items uh, the other bot has determined uh, you need for the readability. And then it just sends them all to Telegram here. Super simple. It just takes my little format and then inputs uh, all the outputs from the previous um, nodes. And then that's what you get. You get this um, model that just spits you out all those prompts. You just paste those in and then you download them and edit them. And I think I could probably do this. I mean, it takes a little while for them to render, but it's really only like a two minute cycle between submitting that script and getting that ad. And the reason why this is super cool is you could basically just take a video that an advertiser has that's doing well, just transcribe it, shoot the script into here, give a description of the spokesperson that they want, and then boom, like you have more variation of ads, you can do it, change locations, you know, all that different stuff. But like I said, this script is super simple. I just wanted something that was actually practical and is actually making me money 
and I'm not wasting money generating it. So that was really my goal. And if you got any value from this, or you're a marketer or content creator that's super eager to be in the AI space, please make sure to subscribe uh, to my channel as well as my newsletter and my telegram. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys later.